I bought one of these Parkside air hose reels for a little less than 20 euro in a local shop. I'm going to open it now and see if it's any use. Here we go. Now I picked up this Parkside air hose reel in a local little shop. You know, it was 19 something, just short of 20 euro. I've looked in the box, but I haven't taken it out yet. So you're gonna see what I see. Um, to be honest, it's cheap and cheerful. Uh, whether it lasts long in the shed or not, I don't know. I'm fairly hard on stuff and this looks fairly lightweight, but um, we'll see. Now, just looking at the line itself, you know, if you're welding or anything near this, <laughs> that'd be the end of it. There's no protection on it. Um, yeah, so it's just plastic. You know, I could bend it and kink it, I'm sure. I'm certain of it, um, but it's Parkside, it comes with a bracket, some sort of a carabiner, uh, I don't know what that's for yet, I haven't looked at instructions, comes with that, cheap and cheerful as well, not that strong, uh, the rest of it looks okay, it's got a couple of keyway screws on it, so I'm just going to put a couple of um, screws in the wall here, literally hang this on, plug it into the compressor and that's it, I mean it's, it's pretty much plug and play. Now this thing comes with 10 meters of airline. You know, how well it springs back, we'll know in a few minutes. And it comes with three meters, um, you know, around 10 feet or something to go from this thing down into the compressor. So I'm gonna pick a spot on the wall up here, keep it up reasonably high so that when I let it back up, it's up out of my way. At the moment, the hose I have at the minute is, um, you know, it's good, it, it does what it's supposed to do. But when I'm finished with it, you've got all this hose that you have to coil up. That's why I was thinking of one of these. So whether I stick with this one and get a better one, I don't know. But uh, looks okay for now. Now this thing is like a hinge, it swivels left and right. So I'm just gonna put it there. I'll put, a, I'll put one screw in it first and hang it and see what the story is. The first screw will stick it in the middle. And... Now I have one screw in. I'm just gonna hang this and see what, where the second one goes. There's the first one. So I've hung this on the first screw. This is really easy. I'm just gonna mark off where the second screw needs to be. Maybe you can hear the wind. There's 30 mile an hour winds out there at the moment. We're at the end of Storm Dennis. Um, you know, it won't go through until later on tonight or early in the morning. So look, we'll just throw this in here. Okay, that should hang on that now. And that'll be it, we'll get to see what it's like. Now this may not be a great spot for it, I'm not sure. Now as I say, whether this thing lasts, I don't know. I'll put a couple of clips in this in the morning, it's getting cold now. <laughs> Some of you are gonna laugh at me, it's now to six degrees. And um, I don't have the burner on in the shed, I'm kind of really low on oil. I could light it, but I'm going to be going in in a few minutes, so it's kind of hardly worth it. Okay, so that's the connection this thing comes with. As it turns out, my compressor, you know, came from the same crowd. Actually, it is a Parkside. Just looked at it there. All right, now I can tidy the cable there, but look. Now it's into the compressor. I'm going to switch the compressor on. So a bit noisy for a second. We'll fast forward through this bit. <laughs> So I'm going to try this 10 meters, I'm going to pull it about maybe 6 or 7 meters away from here and I'm going to blow up the, the wheel on the uh, ride on lawnmower, tractor mower. Very good. Okay, here we go. Now if you can see this, I'm about 6, 7, 8 meters, I don't know, away from the tractor mower. So I'm just going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 or 6 meters. That's pretty good. So it's telling me I've got about 10 meters of a hose, which would be fantastic. I'm using about six of it at the moment, and uh, I'd be interested to see if it pulls its way back all the way to the reel, you know, all the way back up. Uh, you know when you get vacuum cleaners, you know, and after a while the, the cable doesn't withdraw all the way back into the vacuum. Uh, maybe it'll be like that with this, I don't know. This is, it's only a few minutes old, literally. So we'll just put some air in here. Up it goes. I put 10 psi in the front. Yeah, there we go, 10. Okay, that's it. Did what it was supposed to do. Yeah, happy out. 20 euro. Um, I won't be able to use the angle grinder near it, that sort of thing. So I just have to be careful. Um, yeah, so it's not like a rubber hose, but then it didn't cost anything like that either. You know, 19 euro or something like that. And uh, 
and it looks very good, seems to work. Yeah, so I wasn't able to get it to go back in from back there. Okay. Now it's all the way back in, and this is my air inflator. I just want to see if it'll, yeah, it'll hang there if I wanted it to. That's pretty good. Give you a look at that. Now that's it, I just installed it. My verdict on it, yeah, pretty good. Um, doesn't seem heavy duty or anything like that. For normal kind of shed use, uh, probably fine. Uh, will I kill it? <laughs> More than likely. But uh, at the moment it's nice, it's shiny, it's new. It moves around easy. If I had, you know, something to blow up like a car, if I pull a car up in front of the shed or even in the shed, uh, like you saw there with the uh, tractor, the Honda tractor mower, I was able to blow up the wheel, no problem. And uh, here, now this is a bit like those Venetian lines, you know, you pull them down a little bit, you want to, they're spring loaded, you want them to go back up, but you have to keep pulling them down. Next thing is 10 feet long and you still didn't get them to go back up. Uh, hopefully not that bad, but uh, I'm just pulling that out now. And I want it to go back up. Sure, look, it's working at the moment, which is brilliant. And uh, it's what I was after. Yeah, look, 20 euro, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to give it a verdict. <laughs> we'll give it a verdict of thumbs up. You know, you can't go wrong with 20 euro. And it's live at the moment, there's nothing leaking. So you know, I've got about maybe 100 PSI going into that at the minute. Uh, it's on the unregulated side of the compressor, which is good. And uh, yeah, seems fine. So look, I've got to leave it there for now. If you want to buy one, you can get one in your local Littles or Aldi. And I'm sure they're branded, you know, something else. Um, you know, they're coming out of China and they'll put all sorts of names on them or whatever. This one is Parkside. Keep an eye out for one. And uh, if I see one, I'll link it below. But look, I'm going to go now. Thanks very much to all the subscribers. Thanks very much if you thought about subscribing and didn't, but you watched the video anyway. <laughs> You're a legend. All right, look, I'll see you all in the next movie. Bye for now. Good luck. Bye.